Hello, I'm Chris, and this is my 72 Beetle reverse light backup light switch video. So that is the last electrical problem I have on this car. Let's tackle it. I got this from J Bugs. It's a two prong multimeter on continuity. All this switch does is when reverse hits that, it closes the switch. Power is ran to it. And whenever we put it in gear, we have no resistance. Reverse closes the switch. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the whole wire out because it needs to be inspected. This is a 22 millimeter or seven eighths. You have to use the box end of the wrench, find a smaller one, this one's smaller. So you might need some needle nose pliers and a screwdriver to get the terminals off. As you can see, I got the car on ramps. So that's the wire right here. We're gonna pull it out into the engine bay to inspect it because it could have possibly come in contact with the axle right here. See how it's all screwed up. You just follow it, follow it. There's the reverse light switch right there. So just go ahead and pull or pop the terminals off. I'm doing this one-handed hole in the phone. So you can do it with two. The wires are free. We can go ahead and start pulling this out. Okay, get the box in on there. Break it loose. Get everything ready because it may drip fluid. I don't know. All right, this one's got a washer on it. Oh God, it's doing it. It's pouring fluid. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So let me do this real quick off the of camera. Reach back there. These are the wires right there. Just pull them up. We're just gonna test them out here so we don't have to keep crawling under the car. So that's coming off of the switch. And just like the wiring diagram shows, it's split. So those two go to the reverse lights. And then the other side gets power from the pulley. So it goes back through here. And it gets power from the positive side of the coil. Ignition on with the key. Follow the path, positive on with the key. It goes through the switch. Hot splits and goes to both reverse lights straight to them so i assume you already went through your lights and bulbs all right clean the wires off oh shoot. see that oh my god it embedded itself in the paint all right so we're going to come in here and we're going to turn ignition on oh my so we just need a test line for this. So then positive side of the coil. Oh, God dang it, what the heck? We have power. Okay, so then we should have power here. That uses the bullet fuse, a white one. There's a little window there. Okay. Now we should be getting power up here. Good. Oh, one of these is actually hot. So then we should be getting power at one of these. So then we should be getting power at one of these down at the switch. Okay. So with the new switch install, we tested it. When we touch these, we'll have reverse lights. Oh yeah, I inspect it because it goes up by that axle. I saw something on here. I don't know. I saw something earlier, but... Just inspect that. So we can go ahead and fish this back in there. So what messed me up was that little washer fell out. I had to put it back in and I spilled about half a cup. It would have been less than half of this. It just looks real bad because it's already absorbed in. So be careful. Either way, we got that new switch in there. All right, so I went back and rerouted it over the starter so it's not dangling down by this axle. It's got the wrench on it, tighten it up. Real good, it had a washer in it. Make sure you put the washer back in it. All right, got the wires. Look at that. Beautiful. And then this one. All righty, beautiful. Done. Well, that oil in the transmission is good. Somebody changed that, that's awesome. That fan right there is my best friend. Ain't no friend of mine ever in my life done more for me than this fan has. All right, so let's test the old switch. Diode for continuity. If it was working, I'm gonna be mad. It wasn't working exactly. 
all right well that's not good these things are soaked in that oil and that's what happens they just eventually stop working three oh all right so now we should have reverse lights let me go wash my hands hands are clean and if you're gonna wash your hands and you want something that works i promise you the bar right there best hand cleaner on earth so i wash my hands because i'm not touching that brand new shift knob or this brand new steering wheel so we're gonna come in here put it in reverse so you have to push down and reverse ignition on and we should have reverse lights you think they're gonna be on of course they're gonna be on man all right well we went through them everything works now it was a bad switch if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching